now that we have the banner uh, created with the logo working, what we need to move on to is the um, navigation bar, which is going to go in this area here. Now, the width of the navigation bar is already set up. We know it's the width of the page. However, we need to section it off now. I'm not going to separate it here, but the buttons that we're going to create in a minute has to be um, divided equally. Um, so we know that the the dimensions of the website is 1024. And we know that we're making four web pages. However, if you remember here, it says that the merchandise page will be linked from the home page, which means the navigation bar will only have one, two, and three buttons. So what we need to do is we're going to basically create three buttons and we're going to use something called um, Adobe Fireworks. Now, before we can do that, similar to Adobe um, Photoshop, we need to know the size of the canvas itself. So that is something we're going to have to do a bit of calculation on. So we're going to use this here, Fireworks Document PNG, and it's asking us what pixels we want. So let's go back onto Dreamweaver. We know that the height is is perfect. If we can keep to this inside, this this minimum um, height here, then the website height uh, should remain the same as well without it having, uh, affecting it and then be in a position where it's going to need the examiner to scroll. Remember, we want to avoid that. If you look here, you, see, you can see it starts around 225 and goes to 275. Yeah, that's 50, halfway there. That must be 275. That's basically 50 pixels. So I know that my height will be 50 pixels. The width is not 1024. Uh, in It's 1024 divided by 3. Now, if you can't do the maths... Remember, you have uh, the computer here. You're allowed to use whatever's in here. Uh, just You just won't have any access to the internet. So go to accessories, get the calculator open, and just calculate it. So 10, 24, as best as you can, divide it by 3. And in this situation, it's with 1041. Okay, so 1041 is perfect. I'm not going to put anything else in. I'm just going to keep it 1041. And cross this off. So, sorry, not 1041, 3. 41. Just want to double check that again. So we're going to type in 341 pixels. And again, make sure it says pixels. 341 pixels and 50 pixels. And we're going to have, I mean, the color you could choose right now, the background itself, um, if you want to. Um, and it's really up to you. So what I mean by that is I'm going to just leave that as it is for now. Go back over here. Now we could have the navigation bar white and then when you put your mouse over it, it changes to a different color or maybe you want it a different color already and then it changes to white. And now that's completely up to you. Now, I quite like the idea of having this color here in here. Now, I still have my banner open from earlier on and this color that I want to throw into the navigation bar is already selected here. So all I gotta do is basically click on here and I get the code which is there copied over. So I'm just going to select it, Control and C, press cancel here, put this back down. And then I'm going to go into Fireworks and go in here and just basically paste, maybe just delete it and paste it in. If I press OK, I'm do that again, it's Enter, not OK paste and then press enter that color is the exact color that the logo has and that I use for the title for the uh, the, the text the slogan uh, uh, text in the banner itself and then I'm gonna press OK and that will give you the space that you're working with uh, for your um, navigation bar now what we have to do now is uh, we're going to uh, put in some text and we need to put in the icon. So if you remind ourselves, remember you're going to have this uh, in the exam, you're going to have a paper version of this. You'll see that it says navigation bar link is at home, music and DJ pages, which means there are three buttons for navigation bar, but they also, each one of them include an icon. Okay. Um, so put this back down. Let's do the first one. We're going to get text. We're going to draw a text box out and I quite like that idea of having the logo or the icon sorry on this side so I'm going to type in the word home page 
make sure you use capital letters where it's appropriate. Using the black arrow, we're going to move this up a little bit and to the left. There we go. And that's enough space there for the icon. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, actually, let's make this center. There you go. So the lines, when you move this around, indicate where your center is. But I don't like the size, the space on top versus compared to the space underneath. So I'm going to move this a, a little bit more. Can you see how the margins at the top there now? Is similar to the ones at the bottom so there you go i'm going to keep this white purely because the color scheme so far is white and that uh pinky color that we're seeing right now and of course black uh, which we can use in a moment as well um so we're going to go back here that's this home page and we need the icon so we're going to go to file open and find the icon in fact i believe we may be able to just go and insert let me just see um insert No, let's just go to file and open. So let's just open the folder with the assets in. So you have to find your folder again and go to images and you find the icon. So we want the home icon. Can you see? It says home icon. Don't worry about the the image themselves. You might say that's not you know that looks more like music, you know, more than uh, the home. But it's fine. It's whatever they decide for you to use. So you're going to use that one. Press open, and it's going to throw itself in here. And we're just going to use a black arrow again. Make sure you have the black selector tool, and you're going to just click and drag, similar to how we did in ban in the banner for the banner in in Photoshop. And then we're going to drag that in here. Uh, you notice how it's a little bit large. So again, using the shift, move it in, and fit it inside. Now I'm not going to change the color scheme of this. I'm going to put it in the center and I can move things around to make it more appealing and attractive to the eyes. So I'm going to move this in a little bit more and a little bit more. There we go. Now that is enough. Um, and if you're happy with that, you're happy with that. You could uh, change the color of this if you want to. If you want to, this can take some time. You'll basically have to use a select tool, magic wand for example, go inside and delete it. You'll have to also zoom in, so let's make sure you can see a little bit better. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with it, but if you do want to, you can use a magic wand, go inside, press the delete button. Uh, no, sorry, not the delete button. Um, the paint bucket. There it is. And you choose the white and then you just basically paste it in. Okay, now if I zoom out, you can see it's white. Um, control D to deselect, but I quite like how it is, so I'm going to undo that and keep it as it was. Okay, so that's the first button, black arrow again, but we need to, um, we need to save it. Now, to make it consistent, you might argue, actually, no, you know what, that's black, so why not have the font black? So, yes, why not? So, let's make this black for now, let's see how it looks. And you're allowed to do this. You're allowed to play around with this to see if, in fact, you know, certain things look better than others. And that looks okay, actually. Yeah, that does look okay. However, you know, you might decide, actually, no, I don't like the look of that. And I want the background white. And if you change your mind, you can. You can go to where it says canvas here, make the canvas white, and then go back to the text and make that the same color as the background. Now, the easiest way to do that is I'm going to go back again. Undo, undo, there we go. I'm going to change the font first by selecting that color because it drags it in. But now you can't see the font, but that's because the background itself isn't, hasn't even changed yet. So I might make the background that, and now that's the color scheme you have. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. Okay, so I'm going to undo that and keep it like this for now. So that's my uh, button. I'm going to go to File, Save As. One second, just make sure. Yes, file save as, and it's a PNG already. And we're going to go into our folder, find your exam folder, go into your assets, and go into buttons. And this is called the home page. So, home page 
I'm going to call it one because they're going to have two versions of it. So we have some kind of interactive, which will make sense in a second. Press save. Okay. Um, once that's done, it's a simple case of just going inside. We know that the second uh, page, if you don't remember, is here. And that's music and then DJ. So we go back here and we just type in music. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Music. Uh, but we know that the shape, this icon, needs to be changed. So we're going to go and go to uh, File, Open. And this time we're going to find the music one, since we're doing the music button. So find the music. There it is, music icon. Press OK, Open. That comes up. Uh, black arrow again, make sure that's selected. Drag it into your... It says home page at the moment, but that's because we haven't saved it as yet. So we're going to drag this in here. And yes, I kept that there just because I want to use that as an outline for the size of this here. So you can see that this is 37 by 39. So I'm going to go here, 37 by 39. Thirty-seven by thirty-nine, two five five and six. Thirty-seven by thirty-nine. One second. Ah, we can't do that unfortunately. You have to bear this in mind that this here, this image is going all the way around to the edge, whereas this one that's been provided isn't. So you will have to do this manually and get the right size, the size that you're happy with, that matches. the size of the previous previous icon that you have here okay that there is on 255 and 6 so we're going to delete that we'll click on this one we're going to type in 255 and 6 okay now again because it's not the right size so we're going to have to basically use our comments our initiative and drag it in there Click away. Can you see how there's a white line there? So we're going to basically crop this as well. Um, actually, I'm just wondering whether it'd be easier if you make the changes here first. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. So let me show you. Uh, the, we can crop it here, but actually, let's go here. The original image. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. And we're going to crop out exactly what we need, which is about there. Okay. And then we're going to use the black arrow. Oops, sorry, let me do that again. We're going to use drag that over as close as you can, and then Control and X. No, sorry, Enter. So once you crop, you press Enter. So it gets rid of all the space on the sides. Then use use the black arrow. And because it's closer, there's nothing there that's going to be in the way. You can throw this in here, throw that in there. And now if we put down 255 here. And 6. It'll put it bang in the middle. But again, this is too large now, so we do need to make this, this change. So um, since I can't remember what numbers they were there, what I'm going to do for now is going to go to File save as it's imperative that you don't click save because it's going to go over your home page button we're going to click it as save as and then we're going to go and type in music page one press save and since we have the original one here uh, so we're not there cross that off no to that and we don't need that anymore so cross that off no to that we're going to open the home page button. So go back, go to buttons. There it is. Open. I'm going to click on that to get the position. Sorry, the size 37, 37 and 39. So go back here, click on there. 37, 39. And hopefully, should. No, it hasn't registered yet. Let's do that again. 37, enter. 39 enter there we go so now they're both the same size okay so i'm going to save this one because it is staying as music page so file save I'm done now we need to make the last one 
easy file uh, no it's not file save we're going to just go inside this one now is going to call be called dj i just want to make sure it's correct in terms of spelling you know they want to be precise dj pages so it just says dj um so we don't need djs so we just literally put the word dj no s dj and we need the icon as well so file open and find the dj icon there it is and again see how it's selected so this one's okay black arrow drag it in to the music one because we're going to save as in a moment click on this one get the size 37 39 so click on this 37 enter 39 enter so that's the right size now now we want the position 255 and 6 so we can delete that click on this one click on that 255 enter and 6 enter so now the icons are all in the same places Ooh, cross that one off however we need to save this file save as and this is DJ page DJ save now if I open them all up so I'm gonna open the music one now and just scroll through each part tab you'll see that the text all start in the same spot and the icons are also all the same shape and location so that's version ones now version ones are useful when you know when you go onto the website and that's what you actually see now for you to show the interactive side which is going to be an image rollover we need to have a different version for each button now the easiest way to do that is simply uh, changing one item and making sure that you change that one the same item on all uh, buttons so I'm going to simply um, change the color of the font in this to the background and click the background and change that to a white okay and then go to file save as and just change this to a version 2 okay save and then I'm going to go to the home page and do exactly the same thing it doesn't really matter what order you're doing again I'm going to do the font first the text first because I'm getting the color from the back so I'm going to go to the black here use the picker click on that it looks like it disappeared but it hasn't it's just blending blending into the background click the canvas change that to a white file save as change that one to a two and then the last one music click on the font change the black use the picker change the back go to the canvas change that to a white nice and easy click away file save as and change the one to a two now if I do that I don't need these here anymore I'm going to put this down for a second and I'm going to go to the folder itself so if I go back here go to assets buttons you'll see that I have those buttons and I've got two versions of DJ home and music so how do I insert it so very simply go to insert here but before I do that can you see how the cursor is bang in the middle I want it to be left as it is not actually let's make it center just in case there's any gaps and let's make it top so start from the top bang in the middle so we go to insert image objects roll of image and then here we're going to call this home page button and the alternate text same thing so I'm going to copy this page a uh, paste and then I'm going to choose that uh, button uh, and because it's the first one we want home page one press ok and then browse the second browser underneath is going to be the same one but the version two of the home page button and then I'm going to press ok so notice how I've got the home page button there I've got home page button as the alternate text and I've got the page one and page two versions of the home page button there I'm going to keep the link for uh, um, a blank for now and press ok and then that goes in there now for me to put the next one in I simply click on the right hand side and then do the exact same thing for the next image so and I'm gonna just remind myself 
the order they mentioned just in case so they want home music then dj so i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to do music first so go here music page one music page two and i'm going to call this music page button copy this over to the alternate text remember that's going to give you an additional mark for accessibility press ok moves across go to the right do the same thing last time image rollover image uh, this is dj this time so dj1 dj2 dj page button copy and paste and press ok and notice how it gets pretty much flush to the the uh, dimensions of the web page itself now for me to test that again i want to make sure it's perfect and i want to make sure that nothing's changed i've still got a web page that doesn't require the examiner to scroll down so i want to go here click on chrome yes i want to save it and let's have a look at how it looks f11 to view and full page and look at that perfect okay absolutely perfect from the top to the bottom and look at that interactive nice and easy when I go over it, it's easy to read and so on and so forth. Now, if for whatever reason you feel as though actually you would have preferred it the other way around, so you want the white first and then it goes to the this other colour, this pink tone, whatever it is, um, then there's nothing wrong with you changing it around um, on the actual roll of it itself. So if you do change your mind, just change it. Yeah, it's very simple. So if I go to F11, it's a simple case of going here, taking them out and changing the order itself. So if I do that right now, let's just say I'm going to delete this here and do that one again and go to insert image objects, roll over image, do the exact same thing. But this time I'm going to put the DJ2 first and then the DJ1 after and then type in those words. I'm going to leave them blank for now. I just want to show you the difference. Oop. I wanted to show you the difference. Let's try that again. Hopefully this time I press OK. DJ2 first and then DJ1. I'm just going to press OK for now just to show you. And then F12, sorry, F11 after I've gone on Chrome. Press save. F11. And you can see that's how it looks like with um, with the darker colour first. And then it goes... It goes dark afterwards okay so it really depends which way you around you want to, uh, you want to do it now looking at this i'm thinking actually that's a little bit harder to read so i might lose marks for accessibility if i have a slightly darker tone with a dark foot color font so the contrast the contrast needs to be a little bit easier on the eyes so it's not the end of the world if i want to make it a bit easier on the eyes i could do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back here i'm going to take this off f11 cross this off Go back here, I'm going to delete that, put that back in again, and insert. So I'm going to keep the order as it is, roll over image, DJ1, press OK, DJ2, press OK, and the name, DJ page button. I'm going to copy that over into here, press OK, nice, simple. I'm going to press save, so file and save. And because I've still got it open here, the beauty is that if I open up version 2s, because sorry, the version 1s, because I'm not happy with the version 1s, a little bit hard to read, don't think just because you've made the buttons already that you can't change it. You might lose a bit of time in the exam itself, but if you're not happy with it and you feel that you could change it and you should change it, then change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and open all my version 1s, so this one. Give it a second, open the other one as well. File, open version one for home page, yep. And then file, open version one for music page. And I'm just simply do, going to do this. I'm gonna basically click on the, the font of the text and just make this white. That's easy to read, yeah? Same thing here, make the font white. And the last one here. And once that's done and I save it, so let me save all these, save, yep, next one, file, save, and the next one, file, save. 
push this down, you'll see that these are updated automatically because it recognizes the original files in their folders because I haven't moved them yet. And if I now do this, test it out, F11, I think that's a lot easier on their eyes. It's easier to see and I think I'll get more marks by having it like that. Okay, and that's how you create and insert rollover interactive buttons.